Hi, I'm Dr. Antoli of Functional Spine and Sport. And this is our continuation of hip pain and what you can do to avoid it. And this topic is on hip hygiene. So there's four important points that we wanna cover uh, on this topic. The first thing is yoga. Yoga is fantastic and it helps a ton of people. So first thing is find a studio that you enjoy doing that you feel good when you leave. So yoga shouldn't be a workout in itself unless that's one of the things that you do for a workout. There should be a time when you do it and just feel great when you leave there. The second thing is to find a yoga instructor that, that you can trust and that can work with your physical limitations if you have them. And lastly, just having people around you that you enjoy. The second big thing that is important for hip hygiene is to just go for walks. So throughout the week um, with your workouts, you know, have a day or two where you just go out for a leisurely walk. Don't think of it as a speed walk. You know, that could entail part of your workouts if depending on where you are physically. So have a couple days where you just go out for a leisurely walk and you have time to just think and let your body recover um, and enjoy being outside. And the third thing that we're going to discuss here is foam rolling. Now foam rolling is good if your tissues around your hip are healthy. So it's important to understand what that means. So healthy tissue around your hips means that after you work out, sometimes you'll get some sore spots. Now the foam roller will let you kind of know where those sore spots are to help get fresh blood through those tissues and to get all the waste products pushed out. That can help with some of your recovery and it helps you be aware of where your problems um, potentially could be, but also just where your body got stressed so you can change your workout the next day. If you find yourself always rolling in the same spots or always have pain in the same spots, that means there's something going on internally that is a problem. So at that point, then we, you would need to come in and see us and have your hip pain figured out and get it squared away. But foam rolling with tissues healthy is a great thing. And the last thing is just variety of activities. And Dr. Schultz covered that in his last video for adults. And I covered it in my first video for young athletes and adolescents. So variety is the spice of life. And it's important that your hips stay healthy for the long haul. Um, you need to be able to walk and go up and down stairs and get dressed. And it's important to do that. Thank you for watching. We hope you found these videos helpful. You can like, comment, and share below and contact us if you have any other questions. Thanks.